Hey, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on what has been a beautiful start to the weekend. And we're going to start with something you might not even give a second thought to, but something that is gaining more and more popularity in our area. That's raising backyard chickens. Now, it's not as easy as you might think it is. Besides learning to care for the chicks, there's a whole set of rules that each city outlines when it comes to backyard fowl. Kathleen Jacob was up at the crack of dawn, and she has our big story tonight. It's the sound these kids wake up to every morning. They had four chicks, and it was just the best experience I've ever had with animals. They all raise their own chickens and are very passionate about it. <laughs> but it's not a simple task turning chicks into chickens. Keeping them alive as chicks, especially in my house whenever there's cats. The dog, we have a mastiff, and she ate the two chickens, then we got new ones, and then the dog ate the new ones. Bird flu is another danger owners have to watch out for. It has been going around, and it's been in the Tri-Cities, and it's been really scary. <laughs> but even with its challenges, raising their own chickens is not something these 4-H club members would ever give up. My favorite part is getting eggs from them and seeing how they, how they go from really small chickens to being like big chickens. And these big chickens each have their own personality, from squawkers to runaways. It's one of the things that makes them so appealing. I would love to have a whole flock of chickens. But it's not that easy. There's a lot of restrictions on numbers. In Kennewick, you can't have more than three chickens and roosters aren't allowed at all. In Pasco, you have to live in certain zones known as suburban districts, and you also must have a lot size required for farm animals. No roosters are allowed in Richland either, but you can have 12 chickens per acre as long as you keep it clean. Our goal is to eventually, you know, get our own place and have some chickens, maybe a goat, and, you know, that kind of thing. Deborah wants them for fresh eggs, but chickens aren't just useful for what they can bring to the table. Experts say chickens can be extremely soothing to kids with autism, and they make great therapy animals. They're just really interesting, interesting animals. In Kennewick, Kathleen Jacob, Action News. And if you're interested in raising your own chickens, you can find links to information on our website, KeeperTV.com.